welcome to the video and today we're going to be talking about tips and tricks with Bangalore. Now before I get into this video I just want to point out that if you guys want to see any specific legends I want you to comment them below that way I can get to them much quicker because if you don't do that then I'm just going to go in order of whoever I do next. So let's get right into the video. Um, first thing with Bangalore is her smokes obviously. Uh, most people know this but it's very effective when you take advantage of the fact that you can use the digital threat to see through your own smokes. So Bangalore already goes hand in hand and works very well with the digital threat sites. And overall, I personally believe that her tactical, the smokes, are probably the best tactical in the game. Uh, that is debatable, but I do feel like they bring a lot of utility to a team fight. Uh, for example, you know, if you're taking damage, you can easily smoke and... You know, hiding behind a little corner or, you know, you often get lost in the smoke. So, just hiding a little corner or something and you can usually get off a battery. Um, it's really good for sticking reses as well. Uh, so, you always want to smoke with Bangalore. That's definitely one of the best tips I can give is whatever you're doing, whether you're resing a teammate. Um, you know, if you're trying to heal or loot a box even, always smoke. It's one of the most important things because you never know who's looking at you, especially with Battle Royale games. You know, there's no way of knowing. There's too many variables to have to take into consideration to not use your smoke. You know, you can just get done wiping a squad and you can get into a box and you get lasered and you die. And that's the end of it. But if you smoke, that gets avoided. So basically, whenever you're doing an action, you always want to smoke the area. Um, another good tip with Bangalore is, you know, say there's enemies looking at you and you know they're in the area. You want to smoke ahead of you to enable you and your team to rotate pretty safely. As you can see here in the clip, I was able to cover a lot of distance, get a better position, and, you know, do whatever you need to do. But you want to smoke in front of you. That way you run into the smoke and you maximize the distance where they cannot see you. You don't want to smoke directly on the ground or uh, even behind you or anything, you want to smoke in front of you or in the direction that you are moving. Basically, rule of thumb, just smoke where you're going to be. So the next tip is when you're trying to get away and you smoke, um, you want to move as unpredictably as possible because they don't know exactly where you are. And most of the time you're doing this, you're usually pretty weak, so you want to get away from them to heal. Um, so what you want to do is kind of, you know, play around in the smoke a little bit. Um, don't necessarily run in a straight line and, and smoke in front of you and then just go directly in one line. because They're going to follow you pretty easily. Whereas if you smoke and then, you know, maybe turn around and they might chase you through the smoke and then you come out a completely different direction and they don't find you. It works very well. I don't exactly have an example of it, but I do it often and it's pretty easy and it's a good way of um getting rid of someone who's trying to track you down Let's go this so way. next up on the list we have the ultimate now this can be used pretty effectively uh offensively but a lot of people don't use it defensively which is another great way of using it you know in this example right here say your teammate gets down where i am and you know, the enemy's down there. If you ult while your teammate is down on the ground, uh, they are not able to push you. Because with the buff that happened to it recently, they're probably going to take at least 80 damage each if they run straight through it. So it's really not going to happen often. Therefore, you know, if one of your teammates gets sniped or charge rifled or anything, always ult and then smoke them so they can get the res. And that way you can't really get pushed. It's a really good method of zoning as well. If you want to, um, you know, avoid having a team come from a certain angle, you could always use the ultimate to stop them from coming that way. Uh, it works really well for positioning and the end game circle. The end game circle gets pretty small, so if you save your ult for then, you can use it and probably hit a good amount of people with it just because of the amount of people in the last circle and how much area the ult actually covers. Let's go this way. So that applies a little more for ranked games, um, but overall it still is a very good tip, and I feel like not a lot of people do it. But that's pretty much all we have for today, and thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you want to see a specific legend, comment below and tell me which legend you want to see and your overall opinion of these tips and tricks videos. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.